After these things, I saw another angel coming down out of heaven, having authority great. And the earth was lighted from the glory of him. And he cried in a strong voice, great, saying, Has fallen, has fallen Babylon the great, and has become a dwelling place of demons, and a prison of every spirit unclean, and a prison of every bird unclean. And having been hated because of the wine of the anger of the fornication of her, have drunk all the nations and the kings of the earth with her committed fornications, and the merchants of the earth from the power of the luxury of her became rich. And I heard another voice out of heaven saying, Come out of her people of me, that not you share the sins of her, and that not you receive of the plagues of her, because joined together of her the sins up to heaven. And remember God the unjust deeds of her, return to her as also she returned to you, and double to her double according to the works of her. In the cup in which she mixed, mixed to her double, by what things she glorified herself and luxuriated such give to her torment and mourning. Because in the heart of her she says, I sit a queen and a widow not I am, and mourning not at all I see. Because of this in one day shall come the plagues of her death and mourning and famine, and with fire she will be burned up because strong is the Lord God judging her, and will weep for her and will wail over her the kings of the earth, those with her having fornicated and having luxuriated when they see the smoke of the burning of her from afar standing because of the fear of the torment of her, saying, Woe, woe to the city great Babylon, the city strong, because in one hour came the judgment of you, and the merchants of the earth weep and mourn over her, because the cargo of them no one buys no more, cargo of gold and of silver and of precious and of and of precious stone and of pearls and of fine linen and of purple and of silk and of scarlet and all wood sin Derek and every vessel ivory and every vessel of wood very precious and of bronze and of iron and of marble and cinnamon and incenses and ointment and frankincense and wine and oil and fine meal and wheat and beasts and sheep and horses and chariots and bodies and souls of men and the Right fruits of the lust of the soul of you went away from you, and all the fat things and the bright things went away from you, and no more not at all you will find them, the merchants of these, those being enriched from her from afar, will stand because of the fear of the torment of her weeping and mourning, and saying, Woe, woe to the city. Woe, woe, the city great, having been clothed in linen and purple and scarlet, and having been gilded in gold and stone precious and pearls, because in one hour was desolated such great wealth in every helmsman, and all on the ships, the company, and sailors, and as many as the sea work from afar stood and cried out, seeing the smoke of the burning of her, saying, What is like the city great? And they threw dust on the heads of them, and cried out, weeping and mourning, saying, Woe, woe, to the city great by which were enriched all the ones having ships in the sea from the coastlines of her, because in one hour was she ruined, she was ruined, be glad over her heaven and the holy apostles, 
and the prophets because judged God the judgment of you on her and lifted one angel strong a stone as a millstone great and threw it into the sea saying thus on an impulse will be thrown Babylon the great city and not at all will be found yet and sound of harpers and of musicians and flutists and of trumpeters not at all will be heard in you still and every craftsman of every craft not at all will be found in you still a sound of a mill not at all will be heard in you still and light of a lamp not at all shall shine in you still and the voice of groom and bride not at all will be heard in you still for the merchants of you were the great ones of the earth for by the sorceries of you were led astray all the nations and in her the blood of prophets and saints were found and of all the ones having been slain on the earth And after these things I heard a voice of a multitude great, large in heaven, saying, Hallelujah, the salvation and the glory and the honor and the power of the Lord God of us, because true and righteous the judgments of him. For he judged the harlot great who defiled the earth by the fornication of her, and he avenged the blood of the slaves out of the hand of her. And secondly, they said, Hallelujah, and the smoke of her goes up to the ages of the ages and fell down the elders, twenty and four, and the four living creatures, and worshipped God sitting on the throne, saying, Amen, Alleluia, and a voice from the throne came out, saying, Praise the God of us, all the slaves of him and those fearing him, even the small and the great. And I heard as a sound of a crowd huge, and as a sound of waters many, and as a sound of strong thunders, saying, Hallelujah, because reigned the Lord God Almighty. Let us rejoice and let us exult, and we will give the glory to him. Because came the marriage of the Lamb, and the wife of him prepared herself, and was given to her that she be clothed with fine linen, clean and bright, for the fine linen, the righteousness is of the saints, is the righteousness of the saints. And he says to me, Write, Blessed the ones to the supper of the marriage of the Lamb, having been called. And he says to me, These words are true of God. And I fell before the feet of him to worship him. And he says to me, See not do a fellow slave of you I am, and of the brothers of you, having the witness of Jesus to God, give worship. For the witness of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. And I saw heaven having been opened, and behold, a horse white and the one sitting on it being called Faithful and True, and in righteousness he judges and wars in the eyes of him as a flame of fire, and on the head of him diadems, many having a name having been written which no one knows if not and being clothed in a garment having been dipped in blood that no one knows it not and being clothed in a garment having been dipped in blood 
and it's called the name of him the word of God and the armies in heaven followed him on horses white having been dressed in fine linen white and clean and from the mouth of him goes forth a sword sharp that with it he may smite the nations and he will shepherd them with a rod iron with a iron rod and he treads the press of the wine of the anger and of the wrath of God Almighty and he has on the garment and on the thigh of him a name having been written King of Kings and Lord of Lords Lord of Lords And I saw one angel standing in the sun, and he cried, and he has on the garment and on the thigh of him a name, having been written King of Kings and Lord of Lords. And I saw one angel standing in the sun, and he cried with a voice great, saying to all the birds flying in mid-heaven, Come and gather together to the supper of the great God, that you may eat the flesh of kings and the flesh of chiliarchs and the flesh of strong ones, in the flesh of horses and of those sitting on them, in the flesh of all free men, both and slaves, even of small and great. And I saw the beast and the kings of the earth and the armies of them being assembled to make war with the one sitting on the horse and with the army of him. And was seized the beast and with this one the false prophet doing the signs before it by which he led astray those having received the mark of the beast and those worshiping the image of it living were thrown into the two the two were thrown into the lake of fire burning with brimstone and the rest were killed with the sword of the one sitting on the horse having gone forth from the mouth of him And all the birds were filled from the flesh of them. And I saw an angel coming down out of heaven, having the key of the abyss and a chain great on the hand of him. And he laid hold of the dragon, the serpent old, who is the devil and Satan, and bound him a thousand years and threw him into the abyss and shut him up and sealed over him that not he might mislead the nations still until are ended the thousand years and after these things must be and after these things he must be loosed a little time and I saw thrones and they sat on them and judgment was given to them and the souls of those having been beheaded due to the witness of Jesus and because of the word of God, and who had not worshipped the beast nor the image of him and not received the mark on the forehead of them and on the hand of them, and they lived and reigned with Christ a thousand years, but the rest of the dead not lived again until were ended the thousand years. This is the resurrection first, blessed and holy, he having part in the resurrection first. Over these the death 
second not has authority but they will be priests of God and of Christ and will reign with him a thousand years And when are finished, the thousand years will be loosed Satan from the prison of him, and he will go out to lead astray the nations in the four corners of the earth, Gog and Magog, to assemble them in war, of whom the numbers is as the sand of the sea. And they went up over the breadth of the land and encircled the camp of the saints and the city beloved and came down fire from God out of heaven and burned down them and the devil leading astray them was thrown into the and the devil leading them astray was thrown into the lake of fire in brimstone where the beast and the false prophet are and they will be tormented day and night to the ages of the ages and I saw a throne white great and the one sitting on it of whom from the face fled the earth and the heaven and not a place was found for them and I saw the dead small and great standing before God And books were opened. In book another was opened, which is the book of life, and were judged the dead out of those having been written in the books according to the works of them, and gave the sea. And it the dead and death and Hades gave in them the dead and they were judged each according to the works of them and death and Hades were thrown into the lake of fire this is the second death and if anyone not was found in the book of life having been written he was thrown into the lake of fire and I saw heaven a new and a new earth and I saw heaven a new and earth new for the first heaven and the first earth passed away and the sea not is yet and I John saw the city holy Jerusalem new coming down from God out of heaven having been prepared as a bride having been adorned for the husband of her and I heard a voice great out of heaven saying behold the tabernacle of God with men and he will tabernacle with them and they peoples of him will be and they will be peoples of him and himself God will be with them and God himself will be with him the God of them and will wipe away every tear from the eyes of them and death not will be longer nor mourning nor outcry nor pain not will be longer for the first things passed away and said the one sitting on the throne Behold, knew all things I make, and he says to me, Write, because these words true and faithful are are true and faithful. And he said to me, It is done. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the ending. I to the one thirsting will give of the fountain of the water of life freely. 
the one overcoming will inherit all things and I will be to him God and he will be to me the son but to cowardly and unbelieving and disgusting ones and murderers and fornicators and sorcerers and idolaters and all the lying ones the part of them in the lake burning with fire and with brimstone which is the second death and came to me one of the seven angels the one having the seven bowls being filled with seven plagues of last and he spoke with me saying come I will show you the bride of the lamb the wife and he carried me in spirit onto a great and high mount and showed to me the city great holy Jerusalem coming down out of heaven from God having the glory of God and the light of it was like a stone very precious as a stone jasper being clear as crystal and having a wall great and high having gates twelve and on the gates twelve angels and names having been inscribed which are the twelve tribes of the sons of Israel from the east gates three from the north gates three from the south gates three and from the west gates three and the wall of the city having foundations twelve and in them names of the twelve apostles of the lamb and he speaking with me had a reed of gold that he may measure the city and the gates of it and the wall of it and the city for corner lies and the city lies four cornered and the length of it so much is as as much as also the width and he measured the city with the reed and with the reed at stadia twelve thousands thousands twelve the length and the width and the height of it equal are and he measured the wall of it a hundred forty four cubits a measure of a man which is of an angel and was the structure of the wall of it jasper and the city was gold clean like glass clean and the foundations of the wall of the city with every stone precious was adorned the foundation first jasper the second sapphire the third chalcedony the fourth emerald the fifth sardonyx the sixth sardius the seventh chrysolite the eighth beryl the ninth topaz the tenth chrysoprasus the eleventh hyacinth the twelfth amethyst and the twelve gates were twelve pearls respectively one each of the gates was of one pearl and the street of the city of gold was pure as glass transparent and a temple not i saw in it for the lord god almighty temple of it is is temple of it even the lamb in the city not need had of the sun nor of the moon that they may shine in it for the glory of God illuminated it even the lamp of it is the lamb in the nations of those saved in the light of it walk in the nations of those saved will walk in the light of it and the kings of the earth bring the glory and the honor of them into it and the gates of it not at all may be shut by day for night is not there and they will bring 
the glory and the honor of the nations into it, and not at all may enter into it all profaning and any making an abomination and a lie, except those having been written in the book of life of the Lamb. except those having been written in the book of the life of the Lamb. And he showed me a clean river of water of life, bright as crystal, coming forth out of the throne of God and the Lamb in the midst of the street of it and of the river from here and from there a tree of life producing fruits twelve according to one month each yielding the fruit of it and the leaves of the tree will be for healing of the nations and every curse not will be still in the throne of God and every curse not still will be in the throne of God and the lamb in it will be and the slaves of him will serve to him and they will see the face of him and the name of him will be on the foreheads of them and night will not be there and need not they have of a lamp and a light of the sun because the Lord God will illuminate them and they will reign to the ages of the ages and he said to me these words are faithful and true in the lord god of the holy peoples of the holy prophets sent the angel of him to show the slaves of him what must happen quickly behold i am coming quickly blessed the one keeping the words of the prophecy book of this blessed the keeping the words of the prophecy book of this of this book blessed the keeping the words of the prophecy of this book and i john the one seeing these things and hearing and when i heard and saw i fell down to worship before the feet of the angel showing me these things and he says to me not see do it a fellow slave of you for I am and the brothers of you the prophets and of the ones keeping the words of this book to worship to God to do worship to God and he says to me not to seal the words of the prophecy of this book because the time is near and because the time is near he doing unjustly let him do unjustly still and he filthy let be filthy still and he righteous do righteousness still and he holy let him be holy still and behold i am coming quickly in the reward of me with me to give to each as the work of him is i am the alpha and the omega beginning and ending the first and the last blessed are those doing the commands of him that will be the authority of him over the tree of life and by the gates they may enter into the city but are outside the dogs but outside are the dogs and the sorcerers and the fornicators and the murderers and idolaters and everyone loving and making a lie i jesus sent the angel of me to witness to you these 
things over the churches. I am the root and the offspring of David, the star bright and morning. Thank you.